Hey YouTube, Aaron again. Um, I just wanted to uh, make a little announcement that I am gonna do a giveaway on this four inch Wilton bullet vise for uh, celebrating or anticipating or whatever you wanna call it, my uh, 1000 subscribers. So hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And then later I'm gonna um, have another video, hopefully soon, uh, depending on how many subscribers I'm gaining to uh, set up a form where everybody can go and fill out their information and the winner will be chosen at random once I hit a thousand subscribers of this vice. Now what we're gonna do is restore it and uh, I think it'll be a fun project. Obviously I'll show that on my channel, um, just showing how we get there and how to, how to restore a bench vice. Obviously there's a ton of videos on YouTube already about that. So um, probably won't make it like too in depth but uh, just kind of show how I do things. This is um, actually in pretty good shape. Obviously it's ugly and has been totally neglected. I don't think I've moved the dynamic jaw at all. Yeah, but it's not, it's not frozen solid. It's just totally nasty. Um, so anyway, this is one that I actually picked up with the Monarch lathe the same seller um, had a bunch of different stuff and, and I bought a little bit of it. But this, uh, this Wilton Vice, I thought that'd be a good project to uh, show on the channel and then of course give it away to the lucky winner. And uh, once I get a thousand subscribers, we'll make that happen. So I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit so you can see it better. But um, yeah, that should be, uh, should be fun. So here's a little closer view of the, the vice. Like I said, it's in, it's in Decent shape, I don't know what happened up here. It looks like maybe somebody spilled some, um, something kind of nasty. Um, I thought at first when I saw it, because of how gray this is, that uh, maybe those were like custom lead jaws, but looking at them, I'm pretty sure those are original uh, Wilton. They've got the, the pin hole in the middle and it's a, a Phillips head screw in there. Um, this is a uh, model 9400. So this was a Schiller Park model. So this is, a, you know, a little bit later. They moved from Chicago proper to Schiller Park. Um, can't remember exactly when that was. I'm sure that information is available online. I, I want to say it was in the, the late 50s, early 60s, something like that. Um, my oldest Wilton Vice is actually my newest, my new baby bullet was uh, made in uh, 1946. So they started making vices about the war period. So that one's, that one's very early. Um, but yeah, no, uh, no major damage to it. The one thing that uh, does need to be repaired as far as casting goes is on each side of the vice, there's a little bit of a gouge. I'm assuming because some genius um, welded this down to a, a table at some point. The uh, swivel base is obviously not um, original to this vice. I didn't find it with this vice. My buddy actually bought one on eBay for a vice he was working on and then didn't end up needing it because he found something else. And so I, I bought it from him. We both have done a, a ton of vices. And um, so I picked that up off of him because, you know, you'd certainly rather have a, a swivel base than just a static base. Um, this one's also, I mean, the reason I say it's in such good shape is the handle doesn't appear to be bent and it's still got the rubber bumpers on there. So those are, um, you know, normally completely long, long gone. And here on the nose of the spindle screw is just completely wallowed out and hammered from the, the vice handle just smashing on it. So let's uh, go ahead and I'll back the screw out all the way and then we can check the date code and see how old this one is. Um, this will be news to me because I, uh, I haven't checked it either. So we got four inch bullet and a six inch bullet. Let's see, this is gonna be kind of sticky. Let's see some of the probably original whitish yellow paint there. Assuming that's the original color based on the condition of the rest of the vise. There have been a couple of times, to my great surprise, where I've opened a, uh, a Wilton up and there has not been a date code on the, on the key. Um, 
my assumption had always been they were absolute about doing that, but they weren't. Let's see. Clean up that grease. Something extra on there, that's interesting. So this is um, 630 of 1964. So last day of June in the middle of the 60s. And then up top here, it doesn't, it says something I can't really, can't quite make out. Almost looks like half the stamps, um, the top half of the words were, were stamped, but not the bottom. It's like, almost looks like it's C H A D Chad F X D F X R. Yeah, I can't tell what that is. I'll get a get a close up, or at least take a photo for you. But that's interesting. So yeah, 1964. So if you are the lucky winner and you happen to be born in 1964, you've got a birth year vice. That'd be kind of be kind of fun. So that'd make you what 55 this year. <laughs> Bonus points if your birthday is June 30th, right? So there we go. That's the plan. We're going to restore this and make it nice and pretty and usable and um, add a few cu custom touches to it just so um, it's got a, a flair of its own, whatever you want to say. But um, yeah, we'll be doing this soon. Please hit the subscribe button to uh, raise that subscriber count because as soon as we get to a thousand, we're going to give it away. And um, if we jump up to 1500, that just means your odds go down a little bit. But uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by the channel and we will see you again soon.